Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to create voucher in Tally ERP9. What is the voucher? A voucher is a document that contains details of financial transaction and is required for recording the same into the bank accounts. As you see, this is a payment voucher module. This is day 3 tutorial. If you know about day 1, how to install Tally software and how to create a company. Day 2, how to create a ledger and how to use ledger in Tally. Click the description button, you will find day 1 and day 2 video and you can able to analyze and you can get more idea about Tally. Yes, Tally has 6 types of vouchers. Number 1 contra cash to bank bank to cash cash to cash bank to bank all entries comes under contra number two payment voucher all cash payment and credit payment will made payment voucher number three receipt voucher all cash receipt and credit receipt will made in receipt voucher number four sales voucher all cash sales and credit sales will made in sales voucher number five purchase voucher all cash purchase and credit purchase will made purchase voucher and last number six journal voucher all adjustment entry will made in journal entry for example you have furniture you need to reduce a depreciation that will come under adjustment entry that will made in journal voucher so these are the six types of voucher we are going to see about tally so this is a journal entry in this transaction we are going to make the voucher we already created the ledger in day 2 now we are going to create a voucher in day 3 let's see how to create a voucher open tally erp software please select educational mode if you want to select your xyz company means go to company information and click select company you will find two types of company just select xyz company private limited click enter it and you can see accounts information ledgers alter you can see all kind of voucher we made in the day 2 video now we are going to create a voucher in this gateway of tally go to transaction accounting voucher so this is a transaction john started a business with the cash rupees 20000 so from john capital we received cash rupees 20000 so this comes under receipt voucher click accounting voucher you will find different kind of vouchers the first one is payment voucher if you want to skip into receipt voucher in your in your right hand side corner you will find receipt journal sales and purchase everything will be available just click and see this is a contra voucher you can see here as a contra voucher this is a payment voucher you can see this is a receipt voucher journal voucher sales voucher and purchase voucher now i'm going to feed the account for john started a business with the cash rupees 20000 this is comes under receipt voucher just click receipt now it is a multiple voucher option now we need to change as a credit debit format just click the button f12 configure just hit the configure find use single entry mode for payment receipt contra voucher click no and give enter accept now your voucher will change as a credit debit format now i am going to feed the information john started a business with cash 20000 select john capital so how the John Capital will comes? We already create the ledger. The ledger will affect from voucher rupees twenty thousand. Just enter the amount twenty thousand by cash. 
Yes. So John Capital from John Capital we received cash rupees twenty thousand. So this is a receipt entry. You can give the narration. John Capital to cash X Y Z P V T. You can give your comments in this. Just click enter. You will. You have to accept the entry or not. So this is the first entry. You need to give the credit amount and debit amount, and you give the narration. Click accept. Yes. Yes. Your entry is filled. So now it is changing into number two. He deposited into HDFC Bank. Now we are going move to the contra voucher. Bank to bank, bank to cash, cash to bank. Everything comes under contra voucher. In cash, we have around twenty thousand cash from this, and we are going to deposit in ten thousand. Now this current balance will change into ten thousand because it is going to be bank. Now select HDFC bank account. So HDFC bank account. The amount will add it here. You can give the de denomination. If you want to give the denomination, you can give. Otherwise, click accept. Give the narration. So, if you want to give the narration, you can give the narration. Otherwise, click accept. Yes, yes. We made the voucher two and brought furniture by cash rupees three thousand. So. We purchase the furniture, so it will comes under purchase entry. Just click purchase. It will show the supplier invoice date everything. We need credit debit format. Just click as a voucher. So it will automatically change into credit debit option. Just choose the invoice number. If you have an invoice number, you can put always put one and date. So we cannot able to change the date because as I said. This is an educational version. We cannot change the date. And particular, from where he brought, brought furniture by cash. So, cash rupees three thousand. He bought purchase. So, from cash we bought purchase rupees three thousand. Got. Go. Accept. Yes. So, from my cash, I have spent three thousand. Now current balance is changed as a seven thousand. Accept. Yes. Now I am moving into purchase goods from Anthony on credit rupees eight thousand. Now go to the same purchase. Just to give the invoice and give the credit. Anthony. So we had purchased eight thousand. New reference due date. If you want to put the new due date, you have to put the due date. You need to pay the amount because this is a credit. So click purchase. Purchase means credit purchase. So eight thousand. Now I move into sale goods to Ajay on credit rupees twelve thousand. So is it is sales voucher. We need to move to the sales voucher. Just click F eight for sales voucher. If you want to change this one as a debit credit format, just hit the button as voucher. So automatically it will change. You need to give the reference number zero zero one. This is a sales vote. So type Ajay new entry, and if you have a due date, you can give. Otherwise, click sales. So we sell the goods to Ajay by credit. Click accept. Yes. Thousand by sales paid check to Anthony rupees five thousand because we purchased from the Anthony we need to pay the well, we need to pay the amount just click payment and select Anthony against reference we already credits has eight thousand rupees how much we are going to pay around Anthony we are going to pay. Eight thousand. We need to pay. Just type five thousand. Now we are going to pay. So balance amount three thousand will be added here. by check. Check means HDFC bank. So that we have bank account ten thousand. We deposited five thousand. We gave to the 
entry. Receive check from Ajay. So we need to go to receipt voucher and type Ajay as a name. Just to give against reference, he has to pay 12,000 rupees. So he paid around 8,000 rupees. Just type 8,000 as a credit and give to he gave the check so hdfc bank now hdfc bank added the amount and what is his balance also will add it accept yes go to payment voucher and type salary rupees 6000 by hdfc bank so that automatically it will add it into salary account so staff salary just to give and accept yes and paid rent by cash rupees 5000 so payment rent rupees 5000 by cash so how much cash you have you can spend the amount accept yes and paid electricity bill by bank so payment eb amount thousand by bank means you need to type hdfc bank and the last one pay advertisement by check so advertisement is a expenses rupees thousand and by check means hdfc so in this transaction you accept yes by the transaction you need to allow the vouchers gateway of tally and go to pnl account you will find different kind of options so gross profit and God's loss will be there you can see as for the detailed information just click the button details so you will have indirect expenses purchase sales and overall details will be available if you want to see the balance sheet you can click and see the balance sheet so if you want to see the detail just click and see the details so this is the easiest way you can create the voucher and you can add the account thanks for watching have a good day